Hey there. This is a tutorial um, for a forum member that requested that we explain how to interact the GUI elements with the scene. So, in other words, uh, if this uh, character here, Captain Awesome, has a health variable, how to bounce that into the GUI. So, we're going to explain that right here. Um, to start, I've added a health FSM to the character and I've added a variable called health and I've set the value to 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the main camera and add a new FSM just for GUI. And in the state I'm going to add get FSM float. this will reach into another FSM and get whatever this is. So there's a bunch of actions you know, for each variable, game object, integers, materials, etc. This will just get the float uh, of whatever I specify. So since this is a scene object, I can just drag it over. Uh, it's going to, since it's a scene object as well, it's going to pick up the FSM name here. Uh, whatever's available on it. I'm going to get the health FSM health variable and I'm going to store it in uh, captain health which is a local variable right there we're going to do it every frame now we've got his health so wh what are we going to do with it we're going to do GUI well I'm going to use a GUI layout and for those that don't know the difference between these actions there's there's GUI layouts which if you notice uh, for instance, the GUI label. It accepts text and it has a position and size that you can modify. If you go to the GUI layout label, there's no such things. You specify a float and that's it, pretty much. Uh, you can put a prefix in there, which is really handy, but there's no positional or size change information, right? That's handled by um, two actions that open and close the layout itself. So with GUI layout you'll use GUI layout begin area then you'll put in let's say uh, we want a float label and there it pops up right there you can see it. It's inside this area and we're getting an error and it's telling us you are pushing more, glute, more GUI clips than you are popping make sure they're balanced. What that means is we've opened a GUI layout and we've not closed it with another action. So you're going to go to GUI layout end area and you're going to drag it all the way to the bottom here and this error will clear. We're going to choose this and let's look at what we got. First we're getting the FSM float storing it locally we have a begin area which we can define the position here and inside this layout we have a label we're showing the local variable we can put a prefix on it and say health and then we are closing this layout that's how the GUI layout works if you wanted to you could just come in here and convert that float to a string and use a GUI label and then fill in text with that variable. But I prefer the GUI layout method. Um, GUI's got its uses of course but uh, this is this is a pretty clean way to do things. So now when we push play this health variable is going to update because we're grabbing the variable here at runtime. There you go. And this uh, get FSM float is doing this every frame. So what that means is that if his health changes, it gets updated. So I got a trigger here, and I'm going to tell it that when the player enters it, oops. Store the character here. So the player is going to enter 
and I'm going to use health FSM and I'm going to get health variable I'm going to set it to 50 okay push play and then as I drive into this trigger it sets my health to 50 so that is a very simple relationship between the GUI uh, screen space area uh, and the scene view. Basically, there's I mean, you're just sharing the information like you would on any other script. It's just a matter of how you display it on the screen. You just have to get the variables, store them locally, and on this FSM, this GUI FSM, and then display them like you want. So that's about all there is to it. Uh, I hope this answers your question and helps. Have fun with it.